All right, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and use ChatGPT to help us do pen test the room on Try Hack Me. We have the iPad just open, and I'm just gonna go right head into ChatGPT here and say like, help me to suggest the progression in an ethical hacking pen test. This is the IP. Another question, what should I do first? Let's see how this works. Well, okay, so we're conducting. It um, tells us what to do in order of gathering evidence, um, sorry, the engagement details, getting, getting authorization. So it tells us to, before you do it, you should basically go ahead and make sure you have the right allowance in order to do your pen test. So next question would be, what commands do I run first? Let's see. Yeah, so it kind of tells us to do a ping sweep. So then the first ping the, whoa, whoa, whoa. So ping the target, that's the command, then perform a port scan, and it's gonna switch on the SV for versions and SV for set of scripts. And we can also do an advanced scanning that is optional. Um, but let's go ahead and just do what it says. I'm gonna go ahead and ping it, so. Okay, so we're gonna, well, it seems like that it's not running. Let's see. Yes. Seems like I am connected to the, uh, yes, I'm connected to, oh. I'm not uh, pinging it, I'm doing a, running a in-map scan. So let's just ping it first of all. So we're gonna give it this response, basically saying this is the response. So please just can feed it whatever you're gonna get. So we're gonna copy that. So far I'm doing nothing. Now we're performing a normal standard in map scan using the SVSC flag, SV for version, SC for a lot of standard scripts, the category of, well, standard default, whatever you're gonna call it. So I'm gonna copy paste all this. And give it, let's say, I ran the two commands. What should I do now? So, since this is a reasoning machine, it will basically analyze all of this for us. So, it tells us to do, we successfully performed initial scan, and based on the output, the cell is running, SSH, HTTP, some sample ports, and it tells us to examine the web services and we can do that by opening it in the browser. Let's do that. So we open in the browser, also 8080. And we see two web pages on each of them. So that is great. And it also tells us we can do a directory brute force. So we can run this right there. We're gonna insert our path to the word list. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna open the window again one more time. And new window, there we go. Put the command in, and of course it doesn't know where my word list is, so I'm just gonna we just share word list, dear buster, directory 2.3 medium, and run this. And also, it suggests me to do another thing, to run a Nikto scan, so we just can do that. I'm gonna paste it in, run the to scan, go back. And it also tells me to investigate SMB services, so I'm gonna copy paste this. Great. 
There we go. And it also tells me to do, we just continue. Uh, check SSH, this is where I'm putting it It's less likely to break in without a password, so, but it's worth checking. I don't think we should do anything like that. Exploit identification based on searches, version revealed in the scan. We can search for exploits, so it does tell us to take the nmap scan we have. I'm going to explain this. So it tells us to go ahead and check for these kind of versions here and go and search on the internet where there are some exploits of these kind of versions. But I'm going to skip this for now because we are basically getting lots of stuff to do. So let's go ahead and just paste that one there. So we're going to copy paste this. So we're going to paste the first one from SMB scan. And this is great. It's working really well. This is not finished, so I'm gonna leave it there. I think we're gonna leave it there, you know, and just take this part right there. And we're gonna take, I think, yeah, then we have this. That's probably gonna take some time, but you know, let's just copy paste right now. The scans are complete. What is the next step? So we basically are getting somewhere with this. We are getting somewhere with this. Um, is B client listen show and MLS share available? It could be. So it does tell us to run this code right there. Okay, yeah. So let's take it. Open a new tab. Basically, I'm doing nothing. I'm just executing commands, pressing enter, and we can log in. So we have we can download stuff right now. So basically I can take this right here and it's still typing. We can go ahead and paste that in and it's got a bit of text. And it also tells us to go and look on the development tab. Let's go and do that. And we found this, not sure how to show it, but let's just take it like that, copy paste. I'm sure it, it probably knows what I mean. So let's just take it in. And need to find things. Mm. Uh, it suggests that not probably not the best practices has been followed in configuration of the web server. So I guess that is another you know, thing. It does talk about outdated Apache. So we're gonna hit and use the one called search blight. Let's go ahead and open a new tab for that. We continue to do these things. Search blight without the plus in the front. <laughs> and this is what we got. So we're gonna one more time take this and paste it in. We're basically doing nothing. And I guess, is that it, what we're gonna do? Yeah, I think so. So, I ran the commands. What is the next step? Well, I also made a spelling error, so. So we have process, we have access the SMB share. So we can go ahead and <laughs> get it, so let's. Let's do that. <laughs> it kind of tells me everything to do. Let's get it. Uh, just get stuff. Yeah, let's just exit now and say cat stuff text with two F's. Well, we know we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this for simplicity's sake. I'm a bit tired. Sorry, guys. Okay. so. Also tell us to do w get of the two JN dev. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's copy paste it. There we go. And then cat j the text. And put that in as well. And one more time. Let's go ahead and what was it again? Uh, uh, 
I forgot about it. J and dev. Okay, so let's go there. J, J dot text and do dot text, right? So just take these two here. Uh, okay. And we're, uh, we're not really doing anything, you know, out of the ordinary. So did we paste in the one with. We did not. So I'm just going to take the. Take all this, copy paste that. Did I already post this? Getting lost in the conversation, but if we're doing nothing, it's just a standard part. Oh, yeah. Uh, multiple results. It does tell us to do lots of things, but I'm gonna say I'm just gonna post this right now. See what it says. It's gonna be fun. So, honestly, so far already, I I think we can actually say we can use ChatGPT to pen test for us. Even though it, it says it doesn't want to do it, but it's actually doing it for me. It is actually pen testing for me. We can do struts now. So go ahead and do search blights. So I'm going to paste this command in. Struts. And we're getting kind of close to something, I think. Let's take it one more step at a time now. We can also do other things. Let's hit paste that in right there. I need this to go to the bottom, please. Okay, so we have a vulnerability, it seems. Um, so I'm going to run this command right now. So we're going to take this right here, paste it in. And we copied that. Right there it is, and in order to run it, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Not really sure about the options, but let's just paste it in, I guess. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, gonna run the script and paste in the URL. And then a command. I'm not really sure what the URL is. It'll be very interesting. But we could probably. This is where I'm. We are beginning to. What URL? Um, so we probably need to. Um, what URL should I input? So we, we just ask, you know, directly URL targets. Um, yeah. We could probably find out pretty fast if that is the case. Guessing common patterns. We could probably do that, you know. So we're gonna call the script like that. Okay. Would that work? ID. I don't know exactly where to how to call this. It's gonna be the fun thing is, is this at all what we're gonna do? And <laughs> just checking out the server, it's they, they kind of want us to brute force. So we, we could probably go ahead and say, let's try and brute force SSH using the usernames we have now and change the direction. We maybe found some exploit, but basically we're just gonna direct the question. And also wants to install Seclist. And the thing is, we it kind of thinks that it's 
and K. But if not remembering totally bad, I think we already have uh, Jan and K. So what we're gonna do right now is paste this here and just let it know one more time that we have these informations. So we have potential usernames, so now it's gonna... Yeah. I remember the username is Yan, the one we're gonna find, and K is the other one. So we can probably go ahead and just copy paste this code right there. You know, we're pretty close to actually having success right here. So let's just make a small L and then type Yan instead. And press enter. So now we're brute forcing it. And we did nothing. You know, I just pasted stuff into chat GPT and, you know, I asked it to do something different. That's really the only thing that I did. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna run now and it's gonna take some time. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work because we are getting the password right there's Amando. So we should get should get a, a response. But yeah, let's um, see how fast it goes. All right, so I think it's about time to end this video for now and just say that we can actually use ChatGPT to do a pen test for us, even though that every time we ask it the simple question how to do something with pen testing or hacking, it talks about ethical reasons, but it cannot help us and so on. Now, we found a way to do it, and just check out the video in the start, and you'll see how it works. I left it running for some quite for quite some while, and it just seems like a very, 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 very bad connection to the uh, for hack me server, but we know that the username is Amando. I checked it in the list, it's like number I don't know, a few 700 or something. We can also just touch a file and call it A, for example. And inside of that, just type Amando, you know, and then running the same <coughs> command as before, we can just use that word list instead, for example. We can just do that. And we know that since the password is right there, it's gonna just go ahead and, you know, give us a green response by hacked very fast. And that is really just, you know, the way. So we would have found it if just we waited for a long more time so we can use it. I hacked some of the room and we have access, we had actually have SSH access set right now. So from having nothing before in app scan to doing GoBus, to do Samba share, enumeration and so on, now we have initial foothold on the server with an actual real SSH connection with a user on the server. And that is done 100% by ChatGPT. So um, I think that's pretty, pretty crazy that we can use it for these kind of things. Please go ahead and try and validate it if you want to do it. And just want to say, hope you learned something today about ChatGPT. And leave a comment below, say hello, like the video, subscribe if you want to. See you again online. Have a really nice day.